Hi, it's the Brook of That Gratitude Guy. Today, running with scissors. Well, some of you may remember as a child when one of the things your mom said to you or your dad, don't be running with scissors. Well, what was the reason for that? They didn't want you to get hurt. I guess if you're running with the scissors and you fall down and they kind of poke you or something, you kind of get hurt. So I thought it was always about be have good advice or get good advice rather from the folks and when you do it when you're with the knife and you're cutting the carrots or cutting the apples or something be careful and cut away from yourself don't run with scissors but i started thinking about how much advice do we give about how we're careful with our brain are we poking ourselves in the brain figuratively speaking with those scissors are we making a cut and cutting our finger but doing something to our brain and affecting it in a negative way the biggest way we can be really really careful of how we put input into our brain is with gratitude the more grateful you are, the more you reframe and refocus your mindset into one of being positive. Certainly one of the biggest ways of all is a gratitude journal. This gratitude journal is something that makes you focus every single day, seven to eight minutes a day, on everything you're grateful for, and plus everything you're going to be great, <coughs> excuse me, grateful for. The highlight of your day re re references the best thing that happened to you yesterday, and of course your daily number talks about kind of the frame of mind you're in. So when you think about it, remember, just like you put good gas in your car so your car runs well, put good thoughts in your brain. And when you're running with scissors and being re really foolish with a knife and cutting your fingers, think about that, how that affects your brain. Gratitude is one of the best ways you can overcome any of those negative types of cuts, if you will, or stabs with those scissors in your brain. Because there's nothing like living at a high level of being aware of everything you're grateful for in your life. And as I've said many times in the gratitude journal, on the right-hand side, everything you're going to be grateful for tomorrow. So think about that the next time. Don't run with scissors, literally or figuratively, and watch about the input you're putting in your brain. Be careful you're not poking or slicing at that brain once in a while. Gratitude will make a big difference. And if you need a gratitude journal, by the way, you can pick one up at thebrooker.com. That's the message for today. We'll see you tomorrow. Have a grateful day.